Hello, welcome to my garage. I've got a little bit of an impromptu video today. I was halfway through changing the uh, the front discs and pads on my car. I noticed I've got some, I've got quite a bit of uneven wear on the uh, on the on these brake pads, and also one of the pistons in the uh, in the brake caliper is very hard to uh, to push back in. So I'm going to do a do a quick video now on how to uh, how to overhaul one of these MGB brake calipers. I should say before we start though, these calipers. They are quite cheap to buy refurbished already, so if you're at all unsure, I would say the, the easiest route is just to uh, is just to buy one ready done. So obviously, it's quite a quite a critical part to the car, and you don't want to uh, don't have any issues arising from it. Now, one of the giveaways for a for a stuck brake piston in your in your caliper is uneven wear on a pad, and you can see here we've probably got around five millimeters of the of the braking surface left on that one, and and three on that one. So that would lead me to use this. Uh, the piston in this one has been has been sticking, so we haven't been getting the, the full braking effort. Uh, so to remove the remove the caliper, I just loosen this uh, loosen the brake hose just a tiny bit, and then we've got these two we've got these two bolts here securing the calipers on, and they're secured with this long metal tab. So we've bent the uh, we've bent those two ears back now, and we'll get the uh, we'll get the caliper on off on this side. Unfortunately, this side of the garage is a little bit more cramped, so it's a bit harder to film. So I think what I'll probably do is is go ahead and remove remove the caliper and then we'll join me again on the bench okay so here's our here's our caliper on the bench now and you can see i've put a couple of bits of steel across here then just some plastic packers in this is the side that's uh, that's kind of loose and this is the side that's stuck so what i don't want to happen is this to sort of blow out first and then it's going to be very hard to remove this side so i'm going to what i'm going to do is get a, i've got a sort of a, an air compressor i'm just going to put the uh, put the compressor just just in the uh, in, in where the brake uh, the brake hose goes into there, and just see if we can sort of blow this uh, blow this piston out and have a look at it. I can feel it's a bit rough on the sort of edges here, um, but it, it's, it's funny because it doesn't sort of look too bad. There's sort of no rust or anything, but I think it needs to needs to come out so we can have a have a proper look at it. Okay, now it is important to do this next uh, step carefully. So I've got some I've got some uh, some eye protection on, and obviously we've got the, the metal in there. Because what can happen otherwise, if you put the air compressor onto here with nothing in the middle, what you'll find is that both uh, both pistons will come out at, at quite a rate. So let me just give this a quick blow now. Hopefully I'm going to try and get it so you can see. Yes, yeah, so let's just see if this. Looking at the sort of the shiny of the two pistons, just to see what happens. Oh dear, so that's made a bit of a mess, but it looks like it's going to move most of the way out. Good, good illustration there as to why we uh, why we want to keep our eye protection on. So now I've just moved this configuration side so we're trying to keep this is the this is the, the non-stuck piston this side so you just see where we've moved the metal around to try and uh, try and get this one out as far as we can. So I think yeah, I think the, the stiff one has come free there now. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. It looks as though this uh, this rubber seal has got damaged there, or somehow uh, managed to get out of its slot. And then once you've got the uh, once you've got the piston out, it's worth having a really good look inside the sort of uh, inside the uh, the lower part here. If it's really badly rusted in there or any bad scores, then I, I would just sort of uh, I'd scrap the caliper and just uh, and just buy a refurbished one. Because it's, it's it's a lot easier than trying to sort of restore them yourself. And the uh, the reconditioned ones really are really are quite cheap. Looking at this one though, I'm fairly happy with the. Uh, it's just so impossible to show you. Sorry. I mean, you know, I'm happy with the uh, with the inside. There's no scoring, so I'll probably go ahead with the uh, with the rebuild on this one. Unfortunately, with this rebuild procedure, it's not going to be the easiest to see. But the general general sort of thing is we've got a we've got a steel sort of ring up here that needs to come off and then we've got a little a rubber seal that's just in there that goes around the uh, around the inside of the, of the of the sort of the brake caliper there so we'll get to, we'll get a little screwdriver see if we can start getting those parts off I'd like to get both of the pistons out now that now that the stiff ones comes free so I'm going to do exactly the same technique using just these uh, the metal plates as before and this time we're just gonna we're gonna wedge the stiff side but we should still be able to to, to get it back out again after we finish so let's just try it again so Eye protection on. So goggles back on again, and we'll just just see if we can get this is the non-stiff side. So this should be nice and easy to remove. That's probably enough. So it's just because it's both both of them are sort of uh, both out now. So I should be able to just pull pull this side out in just a moment. There we go. So that's now that's now both of these both these pistons out. They are stainless steel ones. In fairness, they do seem to have. So I've held up pretty well. I'm going to give them just a real, really quick, just to go over with a bit of red scotch, 
uh, just to sort of any any of these little I think that's just a bit of grease and bits that sort of burnt onto the uh, burnt onto the pistons there. So I'll do so we'll clean. Uh, we'll get both of these cleaned up and then we'll take a look at the seals in the uh, in in the pist in the caliper. Unfortunately, removing these seals isn't going to be the easiest to show you, but basically, if you can see. I'm going to try and get it in shot, it's just almost impossible, but you've got this little sort of steel seal up there, we're just going to leave that up gently with a screwdriver and that should, there we go, that should just pop out. And then what we've got next is a, is a rubber seal down in there. And then for this rubber seal, hopefully you'll be able to see, I've just got a little, like a little hook, little hook tool that just pops in underneath. I should just there we go. Just hook that hook that rubber seal out there. And I'll do exactly the same with with this side. Now, luckily, I did already have a, a rebuild kit for the uh, for the brakes in stock, so I'm just going to run, run down the three individual components. It's exactly the same as sort of how we uh, how we took them out. You've got you've got two rubber washers. One is just a plain sort of plain square o ring. Now, this is the one that goes inside inside the brake caliper. And then we've got a second one which has got a sort of a V, a V groove in it. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. And this is the one that goes up, goes to the top there. And the one at the top is held in, is held in by this steel ring. So again, I'm going to try and do this, do this sort of on the camera, um, but it's not the easiest. So what I'm going to try and do is put the, uh, put the one into the. So unfortunately, that's the best I can sort of show you there. You can see that lower one is now is now back in position. The uh, the V one is is sort of quite quite straightforward again we just had a little bit of brake fluid just a smear just a smear of brake fluid on there and then that just sits that just sits in the top and then we've got our we've got our sort of the outer steel ring that sits over that one so let me just see if we can get that to I'm just going to need to give it a little gentle tap just to get that last last bit seated there we go so i'm just going to use a there we go just the sort of the wooden handle of the hammer just to just to seat this seat this home there we go so that's gone in with a just a little bit of a click and we'll do exactly the same now with the uh, with the other side and then once you've got your both your seals in, it's important just to take a look around this uh, around this inner inner face there, just to make sure first of all that everything's sort of the right way up, and you you just haven't got this this top V one pinched at all by the uh, by, by the steel ring at the top. But that, all, that all looks good now. I think I will be I will be reusing these stainless steel pistons, but I'm just going to go over them with a with just a bit of red scotch just to uh, just to give them a little bit of a, a clean down and make sure that no uh, there's no sort of residue and bits from the anti-seize and, and that sort of thing that's just sort of interfering with them at all okay so so now we're nearly ready to put these uh, these pistons back in i should just say as well there is a way there is a way that they go you should be able to hopefully see see on the piston here you've got these sort of a little a slightly sort of lower piece I don't know if you can hope you see that on the camera. Basically, this points towards the, the sort of front of the car. So as that goes, as that goes in, that will be aiming sort of uh, around about there. If you sort of imagine those two lines that go across, well, the sort of the, the edges of that that go across, that's where these uh, where that little cutout should be. So what I'm going to do, I've got, a, I've got some special red grease. Now this is for the sort of rubber rubber lubrication. I'm just going to use my fingers for this. I'm just going to get a little bit of this. Bit of this red grease and I'm just going to sort of smear it around unfortunately I'm going to be right in the way of the camera but just smear it around this uh, this inner face just on the rubber to just give it a little bit of lubrication as we put the uh, as we put the piston back in just a smear around there we obviously want to be very careful when we put the piston back that it doesn't pinch the rubber and uh, and sort of if it, if it catches it it's going to it's, it could destroy the seal so let me just paint you shouldn't need anything more than just uh, just your fingers to push it back in. If it does feel stiff, I would say sort of stop and, and, and go back and see if anything has gone wrong. So let me just line, I'm just going to line that front edge up. It's about there, then that should just really carefully just ease that. You want to try and keep a nice even sort of even push on it. There we go. 
so that I think has has gone in successfully and then what I'll do is just sort of have a look at it make sure we're we're lined up about right and then I can give this just a final just a final sort of squeeze home like that and there we go that sort of sat in there quite nice again those lines just going a going across the front there I'll do exactly the same now with this uh, with this top side okay there we go that's both pistons back in so we can put the caliper back onto the car now with this one removal really is the uh, really is the reverse of refitting so we'll we'll be uh, we'll be changing the uh, changing a, a, a new copper washer for here and also a new uh, a new plate um, for the back bit there okay and there we are there's the there's the caliper back on the car again now um, I'm gonna get back to doing these uh, to, to changing these uh, these these discs and pads so uh, you'll sort of join me sort of halfway you join me halfway through that video so that, that'll be out in a, in a few weeks time which is covering the entire sort of braking system on an MGB and that was just a quick video showing you how to uh, how to sort of refurbish the seals in one of these brake calipers so hopefully you'll, you'll join me again soon many thanks bye